Hello everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to my channel. Really happy to see you here again. And today we'll have a look at the flourish which I call WIP, work in process, because I mainly use this as a connector in between different flourishes. And because it ends up in a certain position, it's really good for some flourishes in particular. For example, Andre Jig's Versace. It's like flawlessly goes into Versace. I like it. So I mainly use it for that. So with that said, let's go check this out. Oh, and before we go, actually, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the notification bell as well, write me a comment down below and follow me on all social media, WCKLX, and let's go with the tutorial. So grab yourself a deck of cards and we'll go over the flourish. I will show you everything from this angle, then go over the shoulder, and in the end I will show you another variation how you can close this flourish. So, I came up with this flourish when I was playing around with the Baron back flourish of mine. You can check it out somewhere here on the screen or in the description down below. And in Baron back, I did the rotation in the opening sequence with the corners of the card like that. So I decided to play around with this and what I came up with it, I moved my finger number two, middle finger and the thumb towards the middle of the deck. So, let's go with the flourish now. So what you want to do position your finger number two and the thumb in the middle of the deck of the top pile of the top pile you want to separate this pile like that it's a small pile of cards and then you want to separate with the thumb uh, about a third of the cards now we're gonna rotate the top packet how we're gonna do it you take the finger number one and rotate it towards yourself and after that you go straight away with a push by the finger number two towards yourself and in the end you end up in this position so basically clip freely and steadily uh, with the finger number two middle finger and the thumb you basically clip this two piles together and they steady let's do it again so separate small packet like that and the third like here rotate towards yourself and push straight away with the finger number two and you're in this position. From here, what you're gonna do is you, with the thumb, left hand, you separate the middle packet into two, and with the finger number one of your right hand, you push your top packet in between these packets. Really difficult to show it in slow motion, basically like that, and you close everything. From here, all you need just to do is do a scissor cut, so you put this top packet in the back of another packet like that and you end up in this position so this is the flourish let's go slowly over it again so in fast motion it looks like that and in slow motion let's do it again so basically uh, you take the middle finger and the thumb separate with the middle finger a small packet of cards with the thumb separate like a third of the deck and you rotate rotate the top uh, packet with the uh, finger number one towards yourself and push with the finger number two towards the thumb. Now you clip with uh, these two packets with the thumb and middle finger. With another thumb you separate the middle packet into two halves and with the uh, of your right hand finger number one you push everything from the top pile in the middle in between these two packets and close everything and execute the scissor cut. So in the fast motion it looks like that. You end up in this position, from here you can do whatever or go to Versace by Andre Gix, I will put the link down below to this flourish. It looks awesome and smooth. So now I guess we can go over the shoulder. So you take the middle finger and the thumb, put it in the middle of the deck. Separate with the middle finger a small packet of cards. With the thumb you separate like a third of the deck. Here, with the finger number one, you rotate the top pile towards yourself and push with the finger number two, so you clip the two packets in this position with the middle finger and the thumb. From here, you take the thumb of another hand and separate the middle packet into two. With finger number one, you push everything here in between these two packets and close everything together. From here, all you need to do is just to execute the scissor cut, so basically to put this uh, packet in the back of the another packet, and you are done. Let's do it again. Uh, separate 
separate, rotate towards yourself, push it towards yourself with the finger number two, clip it into in between, separate again with another thumb, drop everything in the middle, and close and scissor cut, and you're done. So in smooth motion, it looks like that. And you're done. And you go to Versace or do whatever. Another way to close this flourish looks a bit like that. This is basically the second variation. You start exactly the same as it was before. Separate small packets on top and like a third on the back. Rotate, clip. But from here there is a difference. So you separate the middle packet and execute the scissor cut right away and everything follows you towards the scissor cut. Close everything like that and top packet just goes on top. In a fast motion, it looks like that. Okay, let's go over the shoulder. So here again, you separate small packets and the third like that, rotate, push, and from here is separation, and now execute the scissor cut, and now everything goes with the scissor cut and closes like that. Thanks again for watching this tutorial, I hope you liked it. Please comment down below, hit the like button, share, comment, did I say comment? Yes, I did. And see you guys in the next video, bye!